This quick 20 minute dumbbell workout will boost your power, muscular endurance and cardio for fighting. All you need is one set of dumbbells. You'll perform three full body exercises for five minutes each. Complete 10 reps every 60 seconds. Once you've finished your reps, rest until the next minute begins. This type of workout is also known as an EMOM, short for every minute on the minute. Rest for at least two to three minutes between the three five minute rounds. Don't play the tough guy here and pick the heaviest dumbbells. The first set or two should feel fairly easy, but the fatigue will start to accumulate quickly. Be powerful on the first exercise. Once you get into the second and third exercise, you will begin to struggle. If you go light enough, you'll be able to stay explosive, push the pace and stick to the intervals. As the rounds go on, you should get close to your maximum heart rate. This is one of three optional conditioning sessions that come with my Combat Ready 8-week dumbbell program. Your purchase also includes my comprehensive nutrition and recovery guide. Hit the link in the comments or the video description to learn more. So let's look at each of the three exercises and how they transfer into fighting. The thruster develops alactic power, muscular endurance and cardiovascular fitness. It targets the quads, glutes, core, shoulders and triceps. It also improves the energy transfer from the lower into the upper body for powerful striking and wrestling. Blood has to constantly shift from the lower into the upper body and back, which improves cardiovascular efficiency. Performing the thruster early in the workout allows you to be fast and powerful. The Renegade Row improves your muscular endurance in the upper body and core. It's a push-up into the high plank row. The exercise targets the abdominal muscles, back and biceps, as well as the chest, shoulders and triceps. You can regress to the kneeling position if you struggle to finish your reps on time. The lunge to curl boosts your muscular endurance through the lower body, core, shoulders and biceps. The lower body core and upper body work in unison. The exercise improves the force transfer from the lower body through the core into the arms. The movement pattern has resemblance to an uppercut in striking or a takedown finish in wrestling. Your muscles should be on fire as you approach the end of this workout. If you want to make the last exercise even more challenging, aim for 10 lunges per side instead of 10 overall. Keep in mind that this workout workout will likely result in significant muscle soreness. Schedule it in a way that doesn't affect your combat sports training in the following days. Like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more workouts like this. As always, train hard, recover smart and fight easy.